Who's going to have more success in 2023 with their new program? Matt Rule or Luke Fickle? Now, I was surprised as hell. I don't know about you guys, but when I saw the news that Luke Fickle was leaving Cincinnati and going to Wisconsin, it, it had to be one of the most shocking coaching hires that I can recall in recent memory. Now, Lincoln Riley leaving Oklahoma for USC took me by surprise. And Brian Kelly leaving Notre Dame from LSU surprised me, not because he was leaving for a better program, but more because I didn't think he was ever going to leave Notre Dame. But Luke Fickle leaving Cincinnati, a G5 school prior to this year, who he led to the college football playoffs being the only G5 team ever to make it to the college football playoffs. Like, I never thought he would leave Cincinnati. I thought that dude loved Cincinnati. He could have gotten way better coaching jobs at bigger programs, but he ends up going to Wisconsin, dog. Wisconsin. Like, you, if you are a Wisconsin fan, be honest. You had to be incredibly surprised when you landed Luke Fickle as your head coach. Now, Nebraska ends up getting Matt Rule. A lot of people had Matt Rule going somewhere. We know that this guy was too good of a college football coach to not be coaching somewhere. But him going to Nebraska was kind of a little bit of a shocking move. And I think that both of these guys are going to be incredible head coaches. But when it comes to the coach that probably is going to have more success in 2023, I got to go with Luke Fickle. Wisconsin just overall has a better roster than Nebraska. They have a really good offensive line. You already know about Wisconsin. Like, one thing about Wisconsin, they're going to find them some good offensive linemen, man. Like, I don't know what the hell they be doing up there in that part of the country. But those boys that they be having on the offensive line, they are big, powerful, and fantastic football players up there on the offensive line on that side of football. So you have one of the best offensive lines, not just in the Big Ten, but one of the best old lines in college football. You bring in... Tanner Mordecai from the transfer portal who previously spent time at SMU. And you got offensive coordinator Phil Longo, who's been the OC for North Carolina from 2019 to last year. He's been really instrumental in developing Sam Howell and Drake May, who is expected to be drafted high in next year's NFL draft. So Tanner Mordecai should have a really good season, even though he was looking really shaky in the spring game. And... They also are changing their offense around. When you think about Wisconsin, you can get by the team that likes to run the football. Like, one thing about Wisconsin is they used to love running the damn football. Like, it didn't matter what down the distance, they were still going to run the freaking football. And now they're getting away from that, and they're going to an air raid style offense. And even though they're going to an air raid offense, I still think they're going to be fairly balanced because you got Braylon Allen now running back, bro. This is one of the most talented running backs in college football. Like, it doesn't matter if you're a pass heavy offensive coordinator. When you have this kind of beast at running back, you're going to feed him. And when you look at the talent that Nebraska has on offense, like, they do have some pretty talented guys. But overall, Wisconsin kind of has them beat when it comes to talent on offense. Now, I do love Jeff Sims, and we are going to show a lot of respect to Jeff Sims because he is my fellow brother from the 904. And you guys already know the policy on the JT Sports Podcast. We're unbiased unless it comes to a player from Duval because we got to represent the city. We got to represent the 904. So anytime this is a brother that we get to talk about from the 904, we are always going to be biased towards them and we are always going to give them the benefit of a doubt. And if you watch Jeff Sims during his time at Georgia Tech, he was, I think he was pretty solid. I think that the situation around him wasn't ideal, and he was pretty inconsistent at times, but the fact that he has Matt Rule as his head coach, remember what he did with Jerry Bohannon at Baylor? Like, Matt Rule is really good at being able to develop these dual-threat QBs, and Jeff Sims has a lot of upside, a lot of potential, and that potential most definitely can be reached, and he also was able to be named the starting quarterback pretty much over Casey Thompson, who was pretty good. And he ended up hitting the transfer portal. So Jeff Sims looked really impressive during the spring game. This dude is a phenomenal athlete. I think he runs somewhere between four or five, maybe he runs somewhere in the high four fours. And he also has a really good arm. He just has to get more consistent throwing the football between the numbers. 
I think he has to work on getting better in the short intermediate passing game. But overall, if Jeff Sims ends up peaking under Matt Rule, I think that that alone could end up elevating Nebraska slightly over Wisconsin because I do think that Tanner Mordecai, although he is a good college QB, I think that Jeff Sims has... I think that Jeff Sims has better overall physical tools than Tanner Mordecai, better athlete, better arm strength. So the ceiling is just higher with Jeff Sims. Now, Nebraska's defensive line concerns me. I think it's a little bit of a huge question mark for them going into this year. They do have an experienced secondary, but overall, you look at Wisconsin, they normally always have good offensive line play, and they get great play out of their defense. So I got to go with Wisconsin, and I got to go with Luke Fickle to have more success than Nebraska in 2023. And also, Nebraska's over under win total right now, I believe, is six and a half. I think that Wisconsin is like one game above them at seven and a half wins. Wisconsin, I also think, has a more manageable schedule than Nebraska. But overall, I think that both of these two programs with these two head coaches in their first year should at least be able to go bowling. Like I said, I think Wisconsin has the more talented team overall. They have more returning production than Nebraska. Wisconsin is third in the Big Ten overall returning production. Nebraska is tied for fourth in returning production. So I'm going with Luke Fickle to have a better first season and to have a more successful season than Matt Rule in 2023.